if you don't. Hello, hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 52 First Round Match. Oh wow. Galenteon is Lizardman uh, minus a Croxigor instantly from a thrown rock. Uh, no Apple, probably should have done. Well, maybe should have done. Um, up against Crag79 and Necro. And in the booth with me is Purple Chest. Hello. Hello. Sorry, Jim, I'm, I'm reeling. The, the ground underneath my chair is not steady. Um, what an equity shift. I believe the Necro lost a player as well. Did they? Yeah. Oh yeah, wow, they've lost, they've lost a KO'd Fleshy, what? Yeah, so we've got a KO'd Fleshy on one side, and we have KO'd Crocs on the other. Um, I agree, I would have uh, used my Apple on the Crocs here. I think this is exactly what we're talking about, um, perhaps with both sides, but certainly with Galentio being a little less experienced at Chalice and the KO tournament format, perhaps. The risk profile changes. Um, it definitely works in Apothecary on a KO. It keeps that power on the pitch. Uh, and I, I would want it, and I would like it, and I would do it. Yeah, the, the thing isn't it, it's a, it's a double whammy as well in this yeah. in this situation because not only like do our lizard men a pretty brittle team in that you know once they're down one or two of their straight of their strength players like Soros and Crocs, it gets worse and worse for them. Also, Necro are like a really good snowballer team. Once Necro get up players, they get to really tee off with their well strength up wolves and stuff. And really get to like tee off and get you know claw hits every turn, everything, and, and chain extra hits, and it's just really absolutely necro up. Necro are probably one of the best teams when they're ahead, and Lizardmen are probably one of the worst teams, not the worst, but one of the worst teams when they're behind. So yeah, really, really would want to stop. And that particularly away. knowing that one of those uh, golems had gone, mm. um, to then think, well, I can keep my you know my strength five, which can dominate the other golem a bit, though it is plus strength. It's a pain in the arm. No, it's the wolf that's plus strength. Yeah, wolf. Wolfie is plus strength. So he's got he's got two blood wolves, one's strength and tackle, two block guard fleshies, a bludge guard mighty white, two bludge guard mighty white. So pretty pretty decent team. Not like amazing, not spectacular. But the problem is the lack of synergy, Jim, isn't it? There's no mighty blow on the claw pieces. There's no claw on the mighty blow pieces. There's no tackle on the mighty blow pieces. And there's no mighty blow on the tackle pieces. So it's yeah, I mean, it can do all the things, but it can't quite do them as well as if it had just been a bit luckier with where things landed. Yeah, and, but it's still quite low TV. Uh, the lizards sure. have got a wizard. Um, so, like, you know, they do have that, but it's it's not a lot between them. And it's nearly no, a really I, good lizard. Yeah. It's ne nearly a really good necro team. However, oh, without, wow. that, uh, without that tail of the Croxigore... We're going to see wolves going in and out, left, right, and centre. Mm. All coming all the way around for this hit. Well, it is a really important Saurus to take out, isn't it? It's the mighty blow tackle one. Yeah. Which oh. uh, is obviously a, a predator threat to both of these wolves. Mm. Oh, Crag is in chat. Hello, Crag. Hey, Crag. The craggle. Ah, so hence I'm the other wolf thinking. is a little newer. Yeah, yeah, strength five, mate. <laughs> Tackle wolf is pretty good, isn't it? Flip me. Flip me. This is, uh, oh wow, it's surprising. I might have been tempted to go up for the thing. I know it's only turn three, but I might have been tempted to go up here and. Might have. Yeah, done. try and break out quickly up to the right. The problem with that is that I think you're leaving things to get fouled, like that really important cross goal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Uh, Saurus, I mean, the cross is gone, isn't it? But the, you know, the mighty blow tackle Saurus is. Yeah, but he's doing that anyway. Very key so... this. He's going anyway. So if you okay, then I there, then definitely, definitely wouldn't have put so many Sauruses back into the line of scrimmage fight before I went. Yeah. It's not enough to hold them, but it's enough that leaving them behind is going to be problematic for this proto cage yeah. and we're probably going to have to score very quickly yeah. but then i mean that's okay he has got the um the wizard so if he scores quickly he's a reasonable chance of a turnover touchdown if they have to come too quickly or at least stopping them mm. 
Yep, I think we shall see Craig actually attempting to stop the touchdown. And like, <laughs> it's a revolutionary <laughs> idea, Jim. Or force it in early. I don't think we'll see a booty juice. Uh, we've already seen better than booty juice here, actually. This is just by moving these two players, he's already made more of an effort than booty juice did in the entire half. <laughs> oh, big removal. Yeah, that's huge. I mean, just again, as you said, getting numbers down on a lizard team. Suddenly they're struggling to protect the skinks. Skinks are having to fill in holes where they get very hit. Then they disappear too. Ooh. However, that diving tackle one's doing a heroic job keeping that wolf in the backfield, isn't it? Ooh. Yeah, yeah, might have even blitzed. Might have uh, blitzed that one to get the other wolf off. That's my, what might have been my play, but uh, that was yeah, a big unlucky GFI, wasn't it? I'd want that strength four wolf up by the cage. That was horrific. Yeah, it's a full-on snake. We all know they happen. At least he got some pressure up there. So again, it's going to be half the cage that disappears with the ball and half that stays behind. Mm. He'll be half the man with half the brain. <laughs> that's, that's a very niche reference. <laughs> that gone right over my head. Mm. Wow. And again, the lizard dropping back in on the golem for some reason for a hit that just isn't ever going to get you anywhere, without mighty blow even. Yeah. Why didn't that lizard zoom back up the field to help with all of those nonsense? Then yeah. maybe you'd have a chance of stalling a bit longer, but yeah. I'm not sure trusting the skinks will get it done. Well, on, only if um, Crag plays this like Booty Juice would. <laughs> oh dear. Well, we have already had some pressure back on the Sauruses. <laughs> but come on, Greg, I believe in you. Those midfield zombies can head up towards the ball. There we go. <laughs> like I said, I mean, when I played Greg, very decent player. I felt they had the luck, but I always feel that. Good, we're blitzing with the wolf. Yeah. Yeah, which, yeah. I mean, that wolf mm. is entirely in the wrong place, so. Yeah, Here it should comes. be a nice turn if you ask me. Yeah, absolutely. And we've got both wolves up there. Now he's got to score. He can't just sit there behind two skinks thinking it's going to be all right. It's not. No, probably not. Maybe one more turn. Maybe. Wow, why didn't we stand that other zombie up first? Come on. Come on. <laughs> oh, it's cool. And we're dodging off, that's why. All right, fair enough. Though that does free a Saurus up. Yeah, that, that frees a Saurus up. Huge, huge power. On the one die. Yeah, that's enormous. Now this one can get in here. Very, very nice uh, regen there. Mm. Oh, the you're power. a mystic, Jim. It's exactly where it went. Yep. Got to blitz this gal, hasn't he? Yep. Yep. And it gives some possibility of a stall. Well, I'm particularly with that power. I think just one more turn, though. I don't think he's going to get more than one turn. Or well, maybe no... Well, this, maybe no turn. This, what, what, why are you doing it like that? That's not very good. Okay, he's not going for the ball, but... I don't know if you could have got the ball there or not, but yeah, it's I, jammed in now, isn't it? In my maths, it was tricky to not then be possibly served back afterwards if things went bad. But this is not. I mean, this is still leaving a one in thirty-six, isn't it? Which is, I think, we could have done a little bit. Mm. But at least we've got pressure, and we're still going to have three turns to score it in, to get yep. the one-one, or to at least maybe draw the wizard. So even yep. the pressure, it's fine, isn't it? It's yeah, as long as you can't stall another turn, isn't it? That's all you've got to do here. As the uh, as the necro is just make sure, like you're not stopping the score, but at least. No, uh, I don't but then you probably that weren't that anyway. No. I don't I probably don't like that as much as trying to like, you know, put another player on this Saurus. I'd probably put the good yeah. here. Yeah, me too. Just not give that hit. Particularly with the stun, I'm not worried about two skinks dealing with my strength four wolf. Yeah. No, oh, well, that's interesting, isn't it? Is that going to be able to facilitate a stall? Not really, because you'd have to dodge this one first. 
Yes, and it's already stood up. Oh, and it's not the edge forward the ball anyway. Oh. oh, so he's dodging with him and then handing off to him. Yeah, that's correct. Correct. Yeah, but it doesn't take away the handoff, does it? Because that's what he does anyway. So there you go. So, um, yep, three turns for the, the Craggle to count the score. And both, both rock, rockies stay out. Well, thank goodness they've turned that down to something where now your player can get sent off for the entire game, and you can't argue with or do anything about it at all. Yes, even though rules is written, you should be able to argue the call, but they just randomly FAQ'd the wrong thing because they're terrible. Um, <laughs> there you. I go. thought it was our move, Jim. I thought it was them saying we can do what we want. We just don't care. Yep. Idiotic. And uh, Pen and Mew, I thought both minis were okay. <laughs> Underwhelming is maybe too harsh, but just okay. I mean, uh, actually, I, I haven't liked most of the miniatures they've done recently, so actually it's probably good comparatively. Um, yeah, I mean, I think they're fine. I think it's interesting and telling that they're yeah coming out with new minis which means they're definitely gonna just sell them like hotcakes so they're quite happy with them being required in tournaments so that everyone has to have one um but yes they'll probably keep that mega star tiering won't they and just call it a day with that not change them anything else Well, that's a pretty good high kick, isn't it, when it's that far away? Actually pretty huge, because that's like, sort of going back and, oh my god, this is, that's terrible making that hit first, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's literally just terrible. awful. Move the ball up to here, instantly. Instantly. <laughs> or maybe he's going to GFI though, because he's only got three turns. Perhaps he's handing off to the wolf. Perhaps yeah. he is going to go for it this turn, up the other yeah. flank. In which case, that whole flank attack has been terrible. And now we're doing the blitz as well. We, this is Jim, no. Yeah, so, so actually, so yeah, not terrible if you're going to GFI handoff. Yeah, all right. Let, let him off. Let him off if he's going for the GFI handoff. Uh, well, uh, I mean, yes, but... This is not the... Okay. Okay. Well, We're now... attacking in every direction at once. Are we up the right, up the left, and up the middle? <laughs> now now it's terrible. And now it's, no, now it's terrible. Now it should have done that first. Yeah, yeah. If it's not doing the handoff, it should have moved first. Because yeah. in case there's a 1 in 36, you don't want the ball stuck on your back line. Yikes. This must have been a misclick. Like that. It has, has to be. To have been a misclick. When presumably it was hitting the skink? Yeah. I don't know what I mean, one of the advantages of this is that is a naked Saurus, so it's blood all, it's, it's cock all use when it gets there. Yeah. But. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I'm not sure what you were trying this turn, Craig. There was space to do what I think you were trying to do at the very start, which was to move aggressively up the right hand side of the pitch quickly. To get the, the the touchdown done that way, um, but in that case there was way too much focus on the line of scrimmage hits. You needed some of those people going up into the midfield and tagging those sauruses up there to reinforce your move down the right. In fact, this whole short drive is just awful at the moment. <laughs> but then you know, luckily so is Galentios. No, it's um, that was good getting the uh, getting the DT on there, right? So otherwise, the yeah. second forward couldn't yeah. have blitzed this. Uh, and now this is pretty horrendous because unless something comes around like here to blitz or whatever, this is going to be losing on a one in nine, isn't it? But I guess you only lose one in nine. Yeah, times, you have to so. take the one in nine. What do you? Oh god, no, you blitz off with the other wolf. <laughs> Well, I think you want to give the ball to this. Yeah, yeah. I guess he's going to give the ball to this wolf, but yeah, he should have blitzed him off with the other end and given it the strength fall, right? That's 
That's what I would have done. That's what I would have done as well. You know, I'd want something that he needs more than just a Saurus to knock it over. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you definitely want to give it the strength for a wolf. If Plus it was can't... a little further back, which struck me as the easier wolf to get to. But then I guess this means that you've got this Saurus down, maybe, which is protecting you a bit. So there's, there's a slight advantage to it, but... There, I mean, there's always a payoff, Jim, and there is a payoff here. There is a nice little pocket he's defended up ahead of this wolf. Uh, and as you said, even without knocking that Saurus over, it's not terrible. Yeah. But I'd still have wanted it on my strength four, which I could have reached, I think, without the pass. Yeah, I don't want it. Oh, wow, we're just going hell for leather for it. Yeah. Uh, I see the white's going to come up after. Okay, yeah, no, that's it's fine. It's, it's nice. Really nice. Not gonna, not gonna whiz. With only one reroll. And... I'm not blitzing with him. I don't understand then. I'm confused too. Yeah, yeah. You, you, don't you just put like this guy or even this guy in for the assist and then double G if I blitz? Yeah. Like I don't... Yeah, you put one of the side steppers on the edge so that it's got the assist, and then you go in with a strength four, so you've at least got two die, and you hope your thirty percent pays off. And if not, you've at least put a strength four up in its face. Yeah, but instead he's just not trying to stop him at all. No, this is the, we're running away. Mm. We're worried about attrition, are we? Or, or yeah, I guess so. I mean, we overcommitted to the ball in the backfield. Yes, but I get, I get why. You know, on a one in nine, we had a skink there and we won the game. But we still had enough that we could have put something in front of this drive, not just given up, yeah. which is what we've done. Yeah, that was that was really rough, just giving up. That was, this is terrible, Jim. It's just mm. terrible. It was. I can't lie. <laughs> I mean, your hope is that you sucker him into doing a few more hits than he really needs to, mm. like any. <laughs> but even I, mean, then, I don't, like, I don't hate that wolf hit because yeah. again is... it was on the tackle mighty blow I this... don't hate this golem hit but now it's time to stop that's enough now yeah yeah I don't like blockers the wrestle hit's fine as well like this is really fine right 1 in 12 9 6 is so unlucky and okay you haven't got much chance of casting a saurus but it's, I think it's worth it for how impactful it is well, I'd probably have done the first two and hoped to myself I hadn't done the third, but I, yeah, it's, it's not terrible. Yeah. yeah what was terrible was not even vaguely defending that drive. Yeah. I mean, I'd, uh, you'd have to ask Galentia what he was thinking, but whatever it was, it was wrong. <laughs> That's <laughs> whatever he said, it would still be the wrong answer. <laughs> Oh wow! The Unless Craig sent me a tenner not to defend it, you know, fair enough. Oh yeah, yeah. That, to be fair, yeah, any any monetary amount is worth it because it's a pointless little children's game. So yep. Exactly. Yep. <laughs> Even if the answer is five signs, it's acceptable. <laughs> if it was a gift sub to Dimmy G, then absolutely the correct decision to not defend. <laughs> I really hope that there's there's a mass collusion to help Amazon's win one chalice at the end. <laughs> an art commission, yeah. A, a one in a million chance of, of an art commission was worth it. Now, I, I usually think the blizzard favours the lizard. But of course, wolves are very fast too, so perhaps I'm wrong. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? I'm never sure what which sides. Like, obviously, Chaos Dwarves are probably the biggest one that the, the that the Blizzard's bad for because yep. dwarves like doing occasional misposition or you know tough position yep. GFIs, and obviously the the bull center having sprint to your feet is, hates the Blizzard. So, yes, it, it's one of their key. One of their key toys is removed in the bull's ability to suddenly spring a, a move nine if it desperately needs one. Yeah. But Which it should never do unless it desperately needs one. But yeah, it's amazing how often you desperately need one. Yeah, but in all other situations, it's always like it's always funny because it's like, well, you know, the other team likes GFing too. <laughs> yeah. So it's never really. I'm never really sure which you know who it affects. You know who who benefits or. 
No, I'm not. I mean, except again, you can you can probably pretty much say that the really slow teams, the Dwarfs, Chorfs, and Camrys, are probably you know very heavily affected by it. Yeah. But as you said, even an elf, you know, move eight. Suddenly they need to move nine in that one turn. It's still. Yeah, and, and elves are the kind of teams that that you know that makes a big difference, doesn't it? That extra square that they can get. It really can. Yeah, it really can. Yeah, so it's interesting. Super interesting. I guess it's what is hilarious in the new rules is Norse, who of course should be quite used to playing in blizzards. Um, in a blizzard, of course, a Norse lineman fails a go for it on a one, a two, or a three. Fifty yeah. percent yeah. to make a step. <laughs> it's it's absurd. <laughs> it's pretty bad, yeah. Any PC team. It's interesting only because, like, I guess teams that want to ball sack it, you know, often yep. that one square is gonna is yep. gonna be a thing that they do. So like. But then, so yeah, the, you know, it, it is interesting. I, would, I don't know. Well, it, it kind of should, right? Sutter, it kind of should. And the models should matter as well. You know, like lots of people were hating on the fact that uh, human catches are armor 7 in tabletop and armor 1 on the board. And it's like, oh, you literally, no problem, you literally couldn't have armor 8 catches because. Be good on tabletop because it would it would be stupid. Like you can't have the models they've got and say they're the same armor as the linemen, right? It would be terrible. That would be terrible. It, it doesn't look good. No, that'd be worse than any balance issue, I think. A gut runner should have a star. Oh god, yeah. I mean, gutter runners should be a star player, really. A gutter runner should be a star player. <laughs> Simple as that. Also, a gut runner shouldn't even be playing Blood Bowl because a gut runner is a military unit. So all of the military units shouldn't be in because they should just be Blood Bowl because there's no more military. So that's kind of idiotic as well, isn't it? So there you go. <laughs> they should be Skaven catches. For fuck's sake. <laughs> All right, I've had another look at the models. I had a brief glance at them earlier. I still can't find anything offensive about them at all. All right, if I'm forced to be deliberately controversial, I don't like that the new Puggy Bacon Breath looks like he is holding a Subway sandwich. Yeah, it's, it, it's almost product placement, isn't it? It looks that much like a Subway. <laughs> I think that should be painted to have bacon within it. After all, that is his name. <laughs> I mean, rat ogres aren't military. Rat ogre is, it is a rat ogre, right? It is a rat ogre. Like, it's not... It's a description of what this thing is. Like... That's... I mean, I shouldn't be surprised that it's Matt or saying that. <laughs> but, <laughs> I also don't like the steam it, coming off Sydney's pie. Mm. <laughs> Hello, Galentio. No one's attacking you, we're just saying that you're absolutely terrible at Blood Bowl. <laughs> hey, banter! Um, no, what has there been? I don't think anything bad's been sent about anyone. Oh, no, yeah, maybe he's over. Maybe he's over, over pursued the ball um, in the backfield, but it's understandable, wasn't it? And I think we were bemused and confused by the lack of uh, attempt to stop. The one-one drive. Yeah. The turn yeah. where he just ran away instead was a little yeah. confusing. Yeah, because there was there was a pretty there was a, uh, yeah there was a pretty easy thirty percent shot, wasn't there? And then also in the first half, like maybe he's splitting up and running away. This could have been done better. But... Yeah. Not nothing terrible. Nothing terrible. Nothing terrible. This isn't an Artemis stream. <laughs> oh, and we try and have some some balance. I'm celebrated that you're getting in, and we bigged up your stream. And yeah. congratulations on your chalice appearance, which I know was a, a huge personal milestone you've passed, and well done. Okay. And it's just like, and try to be constructive as well. Like, I always yeah. try to be constructive. It's not just like, this is shit, what an idiot, and stuff like that, is it? Even if, like, even if we do say something's definitely wrong, like, uh, like not I, attempting to hit the ball. And yes, I mean, that, that was 100% definitely wrong, Jim. There's no denying that. But, I mean, there was, you know, we, the other big argumentative point, I suppose, in the first half was not using the Apo when the Crocs got rocked off. Mm, yeah, um, I get it. They lost a, a column at the same time. You probably felt, you know, I'm facing Claw. But, um, no, I didn't I didn't like it. 
I, th I would have used the apo and kept the crocs on the field. And I think you could have dominated the um, that much better. Yeah. I have called your play outright idiotic. Well, then don't do idiotic stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, that's the answer, Berevale. And see, and, then, and that's a tough call to make, you know, especially right with 15 seconds to make it, and obviously it yeah. ended up having needed the apo since, so now it looks really like it should have been done. You know, but obviously, you know, someone could be in Kaz straight afterwards. You'd be like, "Ah, oh, look how bad you'd feel if you'd uploaded it." So you, you know, it's, easy, it's easier to look at it as being right now. But that was yeah. my initial reaction; would definitely have been to have uploaded it. But you know, one hundred percent. And that's, I mean, maybe, and that's something to think about, Galentio, is the the change of gear from a CCL game to a tournament game, where, which does change the risk profile slightly. You know, because it is all or nothing. You know, a draw here is no use. You go to overtime. And a loss but preserves the team is, is worth absolutely nothing at all. Yeah. Correct. It does look like we're going to swing around in front of the drive this time and defend it, Jim, which is nice. Oh, controversial. Controversial if you ask me. <laughs> Might even be worth not hitting this guy, um, using the blitz to get off the tackler. I would yeah. say. Well, I mean, there's the, there's two pieces. Both of them I want over the other side, which is the Croxy core and the tackle mighty. Yep. And unfortunately, we can now only rescue one of them. Yep. So I'd leave the Croxy core over there to dominate that area, and bring the tackle mighty blow back into the midfield so it can do its job. Yep. Just keeping those ghouls and wolves honest. Yep. Okay, so we've taken the right hit. That's good. Yeah, yeah, you have to get the you have to get the tackle off it here. So as much as you yeah, have blocked with block, yep. um, you had to three D and, and and get him off. And, and using the blitz elsewhere to try and cause, you know, other problems wasn't terrible either, it's fine. Not terrible. Oh, the highest compliment you can pay. <laughs> wow, well, that's pretty bad, isn't it? Yeah, that's not ideal. Using the Sora, so now it's kind of too late to apple all that, isn't it? Unfortunately. No. Uh, I think it kind of is. I mean, it, it's too late. But what else are you going to use it for at this point? So at least it might become relevant later in this drive. Well, that's so it. If you've right, still got so... an apple. I would have thrown it then, but yeah. it, it's probably yes. It probably is too late, Jim. But it just might not be. That's the, that's the thing, isn't it? It's like so. It's, it's yeah. It's it's the chance of it being relevant compared to the chance of you having a more relevant one later. Yeah. Is, yeah. I mean, I don't think you're stopping this without all your pieces and the wizard, so the wizard is the answer here. Oh, really needed it to bounce out, though. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't really now, anything good. I think that would have been a There is a five-person fireball there that he yeah. turned down for the one-person lightning i think i might have been tempted by the five person fireball i would have been yeah just because you've got you've got uh croxagor and saurus to jam in on top of it so yeah yeah that's one of the few situations where a fireball oof, that's pretty good and you know as well as the the ball carrier we had another ghoul we had a wolf you know, we had some nice things to knock over under that fireball as well however this way we can get the ball so probably he was right you know yeah, it's not terrible, but... It's, he was only picking up on a three there. That's not bad. Yeah. yeah and of course the cross stupiding that turn really wasn't helpful. Yeah, it was really... how good that would have been dropped back. You know, three spaces and across where the ball is now, which is probably where you'd have dropped it in. Yeah, I, exactly. I would have put it there. Somewhere in there. I would have yeah. literally put it there so you'd have had a cross in the ball, which would be amazing. Wouldn't it? So very unlucky there, and I, I mean, the plan to get the ball after the bolt wasn't bad, but I, I just think the fireball was maybe the way to go. Yeah, I'd, I'd like the fireball, uh, just for, even if it was wrong, I would have still liked it. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I, I love fireballs too much, but then I also know that bolt's going, so that might be a reason I don't tend to use them. Mm. Yeah, but it's not, it's not about. That like that is it? You can't have that attitude, right? You've got to do what mathematically gives you the best chance and stuff. And with there being five players there, you know, you've got to assume you're gonna you're gonna knock over at least one, right? Probably good chance of knocking over two, and then with being able to 
probably get your crocs in and get in the source as well. I think that was kind of enough and it wouldn't really bother me who I got knocked over. And it's still like a 50% chance of the ball instead of 83, isn't it? So it's like, it's still not even that much worse just on the ball. Exactly. I thought there was there was two or three other pieces that taking out would have still given me good ball shots. I think there was only one piece that if just that went down and nothing else did, it would have been you know pretty a bad fireball. Ooh. And the odds of it not hitting any of the five are pretty slim. Yeah. It's just that people tend to fireball when they think, oh, I'll knock over three players and cast two. <laughs> you know, that's not yeah, going to no, happen. No, you won't. No. It's not gonna, I mean, it will happen sometimes, but it's not anything you should ever consider or expect. Or That shouldn't be in your plans at all. Like, it I mean, the, the bolt and fetch plan wasn't terrible. I just thought no, the fireball wasn't. was more ambitious. Yeah, I think, I think because... Because you've got Saurus available to jam in, if it, if it was like yeah. you know, something else, then maybe don't try that. And there's the handoff to the strength four. And uh, not really a potato, almost a potato, but it's so far away now, it's probably going to be... Yeah, and in the, in the cold, that's not reachable, surely. Not reliably. Does it follow? Oh, because it's a blitz, okay. It's like, what? How is this not a follow? Because there's a 2D here. But it was because... Oh, that's lovely. Lovely positioning there, running around the back from Craig. Yeah, that was absolutely... Well, could have been here, right? Isn't there better? Directly behind better? So then if you push, you push diagonally away. And you still go. Yes, on a blitz, it's this is worse. It gives them an extra space of movement. Yeah. Assuming a pow. And it's all loose enough that there's no easy chains on to move things out to handy places. I mean, it's nicely done from Craig. Yep. Four. Yep. No. No, like one, two, three, four, five. Uh, it was a blitz. It was blitzing that one, wasn't it? Uh, basically, uh, it was very low well odds, but there would have been some chance of blitzing the gal. <laughs> I think I might not. Might have been completely out of range. Wow, that, that, that fleshy's been out for the entire game. It was basically a badly hurt from that, uh, from that rock. <laughs> yes, I was hoping the ball would bounce out from the lightning and the skins to run away with it. And as I said, I don't think that's a bad plan, Galentia. I don't want to give you that impression. I think you did much worse things like the end of the first half. Um, <laughs> but I just think the fireball was a bit more ambitious. I would have given you more chance to really get over that drive and absolutely stop it dead in its tracks. Yeah. Um, just personally, but I mean, you I mean, would have to really look hard at it to work out the exact mass of the bounce out and the fetch and how many moves you had if it didn't bounce out, etc. etc. Because as Jim says, remember with the fireball, you're still 50% of taking the same player down and having all of those good outcomes plus you know, shots on four other players. Um, it was really, I mean, your, your drive was fine. Um, when he pressured it, you stalled nicely and were creative in how you did so. I thought the, the whole of your offensive drive was really good. It was that you didn't defend his offensive drive. You just ran away and you had shots on the ball. Yeah. And that was just confusing to us. Um, I mean, the other option there was to use the wizard and then also to attack the ball area and then guarantee that it's at least 1-0 at the half and you see overtime. It just in terms of game strategy, it felt odd that you were protecting players and running away and giving up a 1-1. Yeah. Surely that could have been a 3D there and tried something, but um, never mind. Commiserations, Galentio. Congratulations, Craig. Thank you very much, PC. Glorious having you in the booth. Pleasure. Well, I mean, just briefly, I'd say congratulations, Craig. I thought you played better. Congratulations, Galentio, on reaching your first final. And I'm sure that experience will tide you well in future games go and thanks for watching everyone don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic